Yo, we back with another video, and today we're actually going to be going over the newest event that is on the JP version. We are going to be showing you how to get a really high score in the score event. So let's get right into it and talk about the characters we're going to be using. So of course, we're going to be doing very hard because we want to get the max amount of points as possible. That's the one we're going to have to do, right? Now, the boss itself doesn't have anything crazy in terms of gimmicks or none of the sort, so we don't have to worry too much about it. So it's really going to be more so about team building to nuke rather than you know trying to counter what the enemy does right so here we're going to actually talk about the team and then why i decided to choose these memories etc and the characters so this is not the team so let me just go to it so this is the team we're going to be using specifically with this team obviously the entire setup is to actually nuke with gojo and absolutely obliterate the stage as you know gojo is a carry dps character and he has composure of the strong which is his skill two which provides a substantial amount of buffs to him and debuffs to the enemy as well right which allows him to hit for a significant amount of damage but he does have a drawback and the drawback is when you manage to use your ultimate he will just leave the field right on top of that he also has the seven turn effect where after seven turns he will leave the field as well so he does have two different ways to leave the field we're going to be trying to maximize as much buffs and debuffs as possible until the very final turn which we will then utterly destroy and nuke the stage all in one go now character wise as you can see we do have a uh, domain expansion megaman because domain expansion megaman is a very powerful debuffer like literally one of the strongest in the games once you have his expansion up it's literally gg for the enemy they literally don't stand a chance in the three turns that it's up and you'll literally obliterate everything so he's like literally one of the strongest debuffers in the game so naturally we're going to be using him here now uh the next character we have up is obviously going to be yaga if you aren't aware yaga is one of the most powerful buffers in the entire game uh of course the, there is a couple that are kind of exceeding him in terms of buffing especially the ssr version of him but you know he is very accessible considering he is an sr character so he is definitely a powerful character indeed so we are going to be using him here as well to provide buffs for our entire team over the course of four turns that's the duration of it so we'll just continuously keep spamming it now we have ghetto here obviously ghetto is very strong he can do good damage and he debuffs etc to provide good damage for our gojo so he isn't a bad pick here either but there is other options so for example for yaga you don't have to use yaga you can use gaku ganji or my or the ssr version of him right of course that means you're going to be running more so debuffers than buffers but if you run a character like let's say for example instead of using hollow purple gojo you can use the new nobara who does more damage based on how many debuffs you apply to the target right then of course you can just use like a character like mai in a better situation than yaga to provide as much debuffs as possible so that way your nobara can nuke the stage as well right so there is a couple different options of course you'll have to kind of like manage your team around it so like if you change out yaga for more debuffers you can keep hollow purple gojo but you can also use nobara in that scenario as well uh ghetto we do have ghetto as i said for debuffing etc and doing good damage you can replace him with like anybody else who's a buffer or a nuker so if you want to still use yaga but instead of ghetto you want to use a character like mai you can right so that way you're able to use nobara as your main dps that is obviously an option so here i'm just gonna guide you on the strat so you know try to follow along and then we're just gonna go through it uh you know basically what we're gonna be trying to do with the characters etc so of course as soon as we start we're gonna be using uh megamin's uh memory of course right because we're going to be trying to get our ultimate skill gauge as quickly as possible so there's that we're going to be using that straight off the bat and we're going to be using our skill three right we're going to use our skill three whenever we have it and then from there on whenever we don't have it we'll be using his skill one in the meantime right so let's just go skill three at the moment with his memory then for yaga yaga we're just going to be spamming his one right until turn four once turn four is here then we're going to be spamming his buff for the remainder of the fight right uh also we're going to be using the memory as well straight off the bat because we do want to have our ultimate skill charge rate for our team uh be a lot higher so by 30 percent. so we're just going to be doing this and we're going to be doing his skill one right next up we have our ghetto so ghetto is just going to be using skill one right so the boss doesn't die too quickly because we don't want the boss to break too early before we actually do all the nuking so we're just going to be using his skill one and then when the boss is actually down in the break status then we'll be using skill two until the final turn which then we will inevitably just use our ultimate to do as much damage as possible 
And then for Gojo, we're just going to be using skill two because if we use any other skills, he will kill the boss way too rapidly. So we're just going to be spamming skill two literally the entire fight until the final turn. Luckily, it only costs one cursed energy, so you don't have to worry about spamming it. Luckily for us, it doesn't matter if he gets stunned right now because we do not need Yaga's anything at the moment. We're just going to be keeping using his skill one or anything. I mean, excuse me, not stunned, but you, you know what I mean. Confusion or whatever. Like I said, continuously keep spamming your Ghetto skill one because you don't want to kill the boss too fast. And same with Gojo's skill two. Now we don't have skill three, so we'll use skill one with our uh, domain expansion Megumin. Uh, we're still on turn three, so we're still going to continue to keep hitting with our basic attack on Yaga. Uh, same with Geto, we're just going to be using his skill one, and then we're still going to be using hit skill two for Gojo. all right so as you can see we are on turn four so turn four we are going to be using the domain expansion the megamin straight off the bat so let's get right into it and, and now that we're on turn four with yaga we are going to maneuver into just straight buffing with his skill two for the remainder of the fight so that's what we're going to be doing now with ghetto ghetto we're still going to continue to use skill one the moment the boss is broken we will shift into skill two for the remainder of the fight until the final turn, which we will then use our ults. And then the same thing with Gojo, we're just going to be spamming skill 2 again. All right, so now we're in the domain expansion, whatever. We're only going to be using our skill one because we're going to be debuffing the enemy as much as possible with our skill one, right? So we can increase the amount of damage we can do to them. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing. Just skill one. Again, Yaga just straight buff. Now that the, the boss is actually down, we can just start using our Ghetto skill two. We don't have to use his skill uh, one anymore. Because by the time we actually nuke, he'll still be above 50, cursed energy. And then we'll do a lot of damage because of our memory, right? And then the same thing with Gojo. Again, we'll buff. So we're just going to continuously keep spamming one again. Because we are, do have its buffed effect when you are in the domain status. Uh, we're going to buff Yaga again. We are going to use our skill 2 with our Ghetto, and then our skill 2 with our Gojo once more, and then this next final turn will be the complete nuke of nukes. And here we go. So we'll just debuff one more time. This doesn't matter too much, but we're just going to use it just because we can. You know what I'm saying? And then we're just going to use the skill 2 once again because we only care about the buff. That'll get our fourth buff overall from him. So that's when we're going to be doing our maximum damage. Now with our Ghetto, we can actually use our ultimate and do as much damage as possible because this is the final turn that it's in its break dice. And the same for our Gojo. We are going to use the, the ultimate along with the memory. And then, yeah, we're going to completely obliterate the boss. At this point, it doesn't really matter too much. We can just go go on and on and try to maximize as much damage as possible, right? Okay. 
Right, bit close to 55 mil. I probably could have got a little bit more if I stalled an extra turn or two uh, after it, you know, Megamin's domain expansion. But I mean, it is the way it is. Anyways, that's literally past 50 mil score. So uh, high enough to get all the rewards you need from the missions. Uh, not bad at all. And it's very simple and easy. Like I said, uh, the options for the characters that you can use is you don't have to use uh, Ghetto. You can choose literally anybody else over Ghetto, another buffer or a debuffer or another DPS character. And for Gojo, you don't need to use Hollow Purple Gojo. You can use the new Nobara, the green one. If you do decide to use her, I probably would recommend at least slotting in more debuffers into your team. So that way you can do more damage with her. But yeah, that's basically how you get a really high score in the new score event. So yeah, that's about it. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.